Morning Meditation, Monday, August 7th, 2023. Forgive us. This is the fifth petition in the Lord's Prayer. Forgive us. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. This is an important prayer. The disciples were going out into the world to make disciples of the nations, and they needed to make sure they had short accounts with God and with others. They were to love God and love their neighbor. And one of the ways you love God is by making sure that you are in right relationship with him. You do so by keeping short accounts. You do so by confessing your sin, acknowledging that you have sinned, acknowledging that you are in need of forgiveness for your sins, and confessing that before God in repentance and turning back to the life that you ought to live before God. Then we also make sure that as we are making disciples, that we are watching our own lives with respect to the relationships that we have. We want to make sure that we are keeping short accounts with others. Now, unfortunately, we are not always able to make a wrong right. Sometimes people pass, and sometimes the event is cloudy in our minds, and sometimes things cannot be reconciled. However, our hearts should be bent toward forgiving people. Our hearts should be bent to restoring people. That should be our heart's desire. If we love God, then we should desire to be restored by others. This is important for the disciples. They're going out there to the world, to the nations, and they're going to be ridiculed and mocked, and they are to forgive. Now, forgiveness is a two-way street. You need someone who is willing to uh, receive forgiveness and someone who's willing to ask for forgiveness. Yet, our hearts need to be bent toward forgiving others. Our hearts need to be bent toward receiving forgiveness. If we say, I don't care what this person says, I will never forgive them, then we are no better than the unforgiving servant. You remember the master relieved him of all that debt, over $20 million, more or less, of the equivalent of our day. He forgave him. And what does he do? The man, as soon as he's relieved from his debt, he makes a beeline to someone who owed him money. And it was about $20 in equivalent to our day. And he chokes him out and he curses him and he throws him in prison. And when the master finds out about it, he chastises and ultimately condemns the unforgiving servant. What's the point? You have been forgiven for so much. You have the audacity not to forgive someone their small debt when compared to your large debt that was forgiven? Shameful. So we need to forgive, and we need help from God. So this morning, spend some time in gratitude, thanking God for the forgiveness you have received in Christ, and search your hearts to see where you need to be quick to distribute forgiveness to those who need it. May the Lord help us. Until next time, grace and peace.